It's a bit sunny, isn't it? Not really, man, but whatever you say. With a fixed aperture of 2.8, drones like DJI Mini 2 are so hard to achieve perfect exposure. So that's why we use ND filters with them. But what if you realize that you chose the wrong ND filter while in the air? So in that case, you will end up with two options. The first one is to break the 180 degree rule and change the shutter speed. And the second one is to land the drone, change the ND filter, and then fly again. That's not practical, isn't it? So I came up with this trick that will always help you pick up the right ND filter before you take off. And all you're gonna need for this one is a camera. Sorry, what? Let me explain. You see, with a regular camera to shoot with the cinematic standards, you need a low ISL, 24 FPS, and 150 shutter speed, so you can mimic the eye motion blur. And using these settings, usually will leave us with an overexposed shot. And to fix the shot, we need to change the ISO or the aperture to compensate with the shutter speed. However, unlike regular cameras, the DJI Mini 2 has a fixed aperture at 2.8. So the only thing we can change if we insist on keeping the shutter speed on 150 is the ISO. But the only thing the ISO does, starting from ISO 100, is brightening the image but not darken it. So this is the aperture scale. If you increase from f2.8 to f4, that's one stop. If you increase from f2.8 to f5.6, that's two stops. And for each stop that you make, there's a designated ND factor for it. So if you increase your aperture by one stop, you need to use ND2. And if you increase your aperture by two stops, you need ND4. And if you increase your aperture by three stops, you need an ND8 and so on. So I was thinking, what if we can do this with a camera first, decide which one is the right ND filter for the right exposure and then put it on the DJI Mini 2. So let's see what happens. So to do this, I'm gonna point my camera at the brightest spot in my scene and then I'm gonna change the aperture and see how many stops did I do to get the right exposure. So here we're gonna start at f2.8, which is the same aperture that the DJI Mini 2 has and then we're gonna start increasing the aperture. So this is one stop and this is two stops and there eight stops. So here you can see the sky became clear and even if I tilt a little bit to the bottom, everything is well exposed. So with the camera, I did three stops, which means I need an ND8. So I'm gonna put an ND8 on my DJI Mini 2 and then see if I get the right exposure. So here I plug the ND8 and if I change my settings to auto and bring the shutter speed down to 150, you're gonna see that the exposure is perfect. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So if you look here, the exposure is a little bit dark. The reason why I chose a darker ND filter is because if I choose a lighter ND filter, I cannot bring my ISO down. But if I chose a darker ND filter than the one that I'm supposed to choose, which is ND8, I can increase the ISO and then compensate with the exposure. So right now I'm going to increase the ISO to 200. So like the trees and the buildings are well exposed. So today it's sunny. I just want to go try this trick. And conditions just to show you guys that it works every time also go to a cool place and get some nice shots let's go so here we're gonna try it on some sunny conditions here I'm shooting in 24 FPS my shutter speed should be at 150 my ISO is the lowest 100 I'm gonna increase the aperture to see how many stops to get the right exposure so one stop two that's three four five and maybe six stops that's gonna be nd64 if i put nd64 on my drone the exposure should be perfect this is the drone with an nd64 everything is well exposed if you want to expose the dark places in your scene so all you have to do is to increase the iso a little bit and then you get everything well exposed
By the way, guys, Freewell sent me these. It's called the All Day 8 Pack ND filters for DJI Mini 2. Thank you so much, Freewell, for sending these. And I'm in love with these. This video is not sponsored, by the way. More videos and proper tutorials coming soon about these ND filters. Otherwise, you guys should go check this video right here. This video will show you how to get the most out of your DJI Mini 2, even with zero experience. Gold. Go check it out, and I'll see you in the next video.